Green Heck. Building value in air. All right, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're gonna hit part two of the Very Green HOA Handoff Auto Control. Today, we're gonna be talking about applications and the different modes of the device. When you're looking at wiring it up, go back and check out that other video. So for this one, let's hit modes first. There are three buttons on this device, a mode button, a speed down, and a speed up, right? So simply can toggle through the different modes by depressing the mode button. The first mode we're showing off is the, well, off mode. It's glorious. Um, the nice part about the off mode is I can maintain power to the motor or to the fan without the fan spinning. This can assist in troubleshooting or just stopping the fan if this is your control. Our next mode is the auto local mode. Now you can see on the screen here, auto local, this is a two part command. The auto part of this command says to watch the dry input and voltage input auto terminals for a remote signal to turn myself on or off. The local part of the command is actually where do I get my speed reference from? So since it says local, it's getting the speed reference right from the HOA. And I can change that balance of that fan or that flow rate simply by pressing the up and down arrows and then leave it where you're happy. It'll return to that point even if you lose power. Now you can see here we're disabled. Nothing is telling it to turn on. I have a switch on the side of our device, our demonstration here, that I have wired into the dry input. So I'm going to make that circuit. You can see I switched over to enabled and the fan is running at 66%. So I have remote control capability right here at these terminals um, and I can set my speed and balance my system right here. Now, different types of things that would use this. I could have my makeup air or a building management system or a CO2 detector, or even just a manual switch on a wall that I can remotely turn this fan on and off and yet maintain the ability to set my speed. My next mode is auto remote. Again, auto is looking at the auto terminals. Now the remote part of this is saying, look up here on the control terminal. That's where we're getting our speed reference from something remotely. In this scenario, the very green temperature humidity controller is actually providing a zero to 10 volt signal. So this is coming in here and right now you'll notice it says read. I'm at 10 volts for a read. So this is telling me to run full speed, but it's not allowing the fan to actually run because our auto inputs have not allowed it. So think of a time clock that says, you know what? control the temperature in the space, but only during eight to five business hours. So let's go ahead and say the time clock made. Now I'm actually being controlled remote by this remote speed reference and the on off command here. The next mode that we're gonna look at is hand mode. Now hand mode, is used to start and stop right here. Hand means run. And then again, I get my set so I can set my speed. If this handoff auto or HOA device was your end user interface, right? You're going into the closet and you want it to run. You just simply put it in hand mode. Now I'm running and I can hit mode again and I'm stop running, I'm in off mode. The other uh, benefits of hand mode would be like while I'm doing balancing of the system and I need to find out exactly where my set point is. Or maybe I want to ignore the auto part of this and have a kind of a, a manual override in a way. So I will run this speed until, well, until you change any of your setup. The last mode is simply off mode. 
Now, there's one more mode and feature that we can get into, and that's that override called firemins. Now, again, that's a voltage input. It's expecting anything between 12 and 120 volts. And I have actually 24 volts wired to this switch. So this is going to represent today our carbon monoxide detector or alarm in this space. And when the CO goes up too high, it's going to send that 24 volts to that terminal. Now you'll notice here, my LED starts flashing. That's just to grab your attention and let you know you were in override mode. You can see my fireman is stated across the top and at what point it was balanced for. And you can pick any speed from you know zero stop to 20 to 100 percent as soon as the alarm is cleared and i remove power to that terminal i just return back to the previous mode um, so let's just do that one more time we're going to put it in auto local have it running we're at 6.6 .6 set point again when we hit the fireman's we jumped to 6.7, not a big jump, but you can see where it just took over. And then as I lose firemen's, I just go back to my previous mode. One more item we should discuss with the mode buttons, and that's how do I set the set point for my override, my second speed? I do that by simply depressing the up and down arrows at the same time for several seconds. You can see now I am in fireman's set mode, and this gives me the ability to balance in what speed I want for the fireman's mode. And to return back to our normal functions, I just hit mode, now I'm right where we left off. So if I enact fireman's, you'll see my new set point is being used. So that was a quick run through of the different modes that this device has and some of the common applications, whether you're tying into makeup air, you know, when the supplier is turned on, you want your exhaust to turn on as well, or you're responding to a time clock, a building management system, a carbon monoxide detector, or actually two devices. I could be using my auto mode with a time clock, you know, let's run between eight and five, and then I have my override, my fireman's hooked up to a carbon monoxide detector or a fire alarm system to get a second speed or even to get a, a, an emergency shutdown function. If there are any questions, please feel free to visit our website, greenheck.com, or call into our customer service group.